All right, folks, we're back, and we're playing Hidden Expedition 10, The Fountain of Youth. And uh, this is, uh, we're on a ship, and there's a lot of this crazy stuff here. This moss here. Ew, yuck. What do we have inventory-wise? We've got this ancient pendant. We've got an octopus body, which is missing a tentacle. Aww, it's missing a tentacle. We also have sandpaper, one out of three etched stones, and an empty shield. That's weird. I don't even know what that could possibly be. It almost looks like a, a guy wearing snowshoes, which is kind of weird. But anyways, we're into this. We're playing this live in front of a live studio audience. Okay, it's not actually a studio, but I've got all the lovely folks at Hitbox watching, and I'm waving at you right now. Thank you for hanging out with me today. And of course, Team YouTube representing. You guys are lovely. Thank you for hanging out with me as well. So we're going to go ahead and get back into this. Uh, first order of business, I want to go see what kind of new learning we can do. Oh, it looks like we only have a couple new ones. Huh. Yeah, only one new one? That's sad. The Seville Mint Factory. The coin factory in Seville was built on the original base of a Roman mint. It was built in 1585 and soon became Europe's economic center. Fair enough. And then we'll go ahead and have a look at our map. Yes, Fountain of Youth indeed. That boat sounded awful rickety. Um, okay, I must be blind because I don't see actually anything to do. Oh, apparently we need to go inside the quarters. Yes, that's where I left off. I totally forgot. It looks good for something that spent a couple of centuries at the bottom of the ocean. Hmm. Captain Gibbs. Yes, that's right. I am the captain of the ship. Collectibles. We're looking for these little symbols here. Little round disc symbols. So keep your eyes peeled for those. And if you do spot it, just shout it out in the chat. Look at that. We got a 10 out of 20 fat cards. The drawer's stuck. I'll need something to budget. Okay. Yes, the good ship friendship. SSS friendship. Sure, why not? Hmm. If I tilt the chandelier, I'll be able to grab the boat hook. What is this game about, Zoe? This is about the Fountain of Youth. We are like... It's kind of like an archaeological sort of adventure. That's the best way I would describe it. We're looking for the Fountain of Youth. Got it. Thank you for pointing out the collectible. What else can we do here? I don't know. If we got... Oh, it looks like we can do something here. Oh, a file. I forgot I had that thing. We got something up there. It looks like a boat hook. It is a boat hook. How oh, lovely. Uh, that's where our octopus is going to go when we actually get the last tentacle. And we found something interesting. I'll never find the turtle path by just following the ancient scripts. I'll hire the most experienced scientist to investigate the matter. I hope the prominent Simone Bodine will accept my invitation to lead the project. She's the most famous marine biologist today. Oh, this is what we need. What? Twin-tailed mermaid? I have never heard of such a thing. Have you folks ever heard of a twin-tailed mermaid? Now, for the, most of you know this. I know my mermaids. But I have never seen a twin-tailed one. Huh. Interesting. I thought this was a, a dude on snowshoes. <laughs> twin-tailed. Wow. That's kind of interesting in a strange way. <laughs> Hmm. Let's see. So I now have the shield thing. I need to find a place for it. Twin-tailed mermaid. Kinda crazy. 
That is a very special kind of mermaid. Ooh, and she offered up some lovely skizzers. Okay, let's see what fact card number 10 was. Conception! When the fleet reached South America, mutiny broke out on three of the ships. During the battle, the anchor rope for the Conception was cut. It drifted and was slightly damaged. After Magellan dealt with the mutiny, the fleet set sail for the Philippines. Many men were lost in the battle, and the remaining sailors could not control all of the ships. They allegedly burned the Conception. Its remains were never recovered. Ooh. Conjoined mermaid. I don't know. I've never seen a mermaid with two tails. Wow. And no, I'm not saying skizzers correct. I'm not saying scissors correct. I'm saying skizzers. You don't know skizzers? Right up there with cravens. You know what I mean? <laughs> skizzers. I like my skizzers. So I think we had to cut this, didn't I? What did we what did we need scissors for? Hmm. Oh, apparently back here. Uh Where else could we go? We can go up? Oh wow. Oh, okay. The key to this box is probably somewhere in the middle of the ocean. I'm going to have to use force. Get in there. Oh, you're learning English from me? Oh, <laughs> whoops. Okay, well, some of the words I say with a strange accent or I combine two words together for fun, so... No, uh, scissors is not pronounced skizzers. <laughs> and you're, by the way, you're not the first person to tell me that you're learning English by watching or playing these hidden object games. It's actually more common than you might think. Okay, so what do we got here? We got some sort of crazy puzzle here. Uh, this looks really weird. Uh, that's gotta be the top, no? Let's see here. There we go. Uh, we gotta flip this around, do we? Oh my heavens, uh... Let's see here. No, I don't want to flip those two. Hmm. Interesting, very interesting puzzle. Yay, we did it! Another turtle, yay for turtles! Yes, with two tails, that was probably the fastest mermaid swimmer ever. Now, why do I have scissors? Sorry, now I'm going to want to say scissors when I really want to say skizzers. I'm all messed up here. So I've got coral peas. That was kind of the new addition here, was it? Uh, oh, looks like we should go back here. So we have coral. Where the heck am I going to put the coral? Oh, the Starbucks logo has two tails? Well, that's just crazy talk. <laughs> I thought that was something else. I didn't think that was a tail. Uh, what else is going on here? I, what am I going to be doing with this thing? What, what's going on here? I suppose I better move along? Okay. Oh, there's something over here. I need to cut something with my scissors! Ooh, we didn't have to sharpen the scissors or nothing. Good for us. <gasps> we have the tentacle we've been looking for! Hello, tentacle! Where have you been? Yeah. Let's see. Octopus, you're going to go right there. And you're going to have a party. Wow, you fit in there real nice. Oh, we finally get to use this thing. We've had that thing forever. And we now have etched turtle number three. 
Let's go, turtles. Okay, information please. Arrange the tiles so that they form a continuous path along the turtles. Stages of development. Uh, interesting. So we're going to have to move that one here, I think. And then... Where is this going to go? This is actually really neat. Yeah, that one there. Oh, that actually moved it along there nicely. That's got to be straight, so put that one there. And then that one's got to go there. And then last but not least... Turtles! Ooh. The big turtle is obviously the most important one. How do we know? Maybe he's like Rudolph. Uh, okay. Now it's coming with us. Whoa, dude, You're where'd you come relentless. from? You're relentless. I wish I'd known that earlier. Excuse me for a moment. You're relentless. I wish I'd known that earlier. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Quite the trick, isn't it? Oh, right. I'll need this, too. Wait a minute. Who are you? Thanks to you, I got closer to the fountain. Now, we'll have to put you down to sleep. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> he jumped into the boat. He's so good. Wait, at least I've got the turtle from the plaque. Your timing is impeccable with your phone calls here, mister. Hello, Agent. Give me an update. A turn and rejuvenated in front of you. So, the legends are true. Did you find out anything else? The sea turtle? Those are most commonly found in the coastal area of Tanzania. Uh, okay. Am I supposed to pick a turtle? All right, folks, what is our favorite looking turtle here? This one here is kind of cool. It's kind of like a ninja turtle. He's... He's got some nice speckles on his back. Hmm. Middle, we want the middle one? No, that's not the one I've seen around here. What was the one at the loading screen? Was it this one? The Eternan Foundation yeah. has a marine research facility there. That'll be your next stop. Your tickets will be waiting at the airport. Please, try to avoid Dana Creed. Oh no, not the short-haired lady. Tanzania? Oh, look at this little submarine thingamajiggy over here. What is this all about? I want to get inside. I can't open it without a key. Where is Tanzania? Is that off the coast of Africa? I don't want to cut my hand on that broken glass. Hmm. This is a beautiful looking home though. Like, I love the, the roundness of it. It's pretty cool. I assume it's a home. Oh, it's just a central corridor. Oh, it's not a home. It's a research center. Oh, never mind. Is Tanzania near Africa? Is that what it is? Hmm. I wonder if there's someone here I could talk to. Hello, fact card. We'll get to you in just a moment. <laughs> yes, this is maybe uh, Tony Stark's... Uh, Summer home. You want to ride a turtle or a shark? Both of those would be fun. One would be more dangerous than the other. Everything here is locked. So we go back outside there, or what do we look at here? We've got to figure out that. The Eternan Marine Life Research Center. Hmm. 
Okay, where the heck is the collectible? Oh yeah, we're super talented with all of our abilities. Electrical engineering, mechanic, doctor, lawyer, we're all of those things. Detective, queen. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Yes, uh, Warfire is the Wikipedia. Yes, that is so true. Uh, let's see. I want to look over here. Another fact card. Ooh, February 26, 2015. We've tested the most common types of turtles in these waters with no results so far. One specific type, the loggerhead turtle have shown the signs of remarkably long life. I'm still not sure what causes it though. Hmm. This must be the incubator with a baby turtle's hatch. Oh, that's adorable. Who's adorable? Baby turtles is who is adorable. I'm getting tired of these excuses. More time, more resources, more money. I've built the most advanced lab in the world. I've gotten the most experienced scientists. She might be the best, but I don't get results soon. She's out of a job permanently. Yeah, that's right. I added that at the end there, too. This is one of those most advanced locks I've ever seen. Uh, okay. Hmm. This pool must have something to do with the research they're conducting. Ooh, look at the fishies. So I've got matches and a platform switch. Hmm. So I didn't get the collectible here yet. Where are you, collectible? Uh, I don't think we've had a crowbar yet. Uh, I don't recall. Turtle Research Lab. Hmm. Let's see. Mr. Turtle! That's a turtle bracelet. Okay. Lockpick pieces. Sandpaper? No. Uh, it was a bottle opener. I guess you can call it a tiny crowbar, but it was actually a bottle opener that we had earlier. How many locks have I had to open in my career as a Hopa game player? Oh, good lord. I would say I've played, what, 300, 400 games, and there's at least, what, 10 locks per? I'm guessing around, I would say somewhere between 3,000 and 4,000 locks. It's not like you and me, but it can swim across the sea. It's a mer- oh, that was a morphin object. Oh. Uh, I thought that was it. Oh, it's a fishy. There we go. He spent so much money researching for youth, his initials would help you find the truth. On my own, I'm hard and small, but when stacked with my friends, I become a wall. I sit calmly under the sea, and I get rich if you open me. Oh, you get rich if you open me. Where are you? Where's Mr. Clam here. Oh, there we are. 